The AAA change order form is often used together with the 702 and 703 documents that are the continuation sheet and the top sheet of the standard application for payment. You want to fill out your payment application documents as accurately as possible to avoid payment delays. In this video, we'll walk you through each section of the AAA change order form so that you can get all the details right. A change order is a document that changes the scope of the work on the contract. It can add items or reduce items from the scope of work, and construction projects rarely go according to plan, as you all know. Change orders give all the parties the flexibility to make changes as they come up without rewriting the contract. Remember, the work you do isn't nearly as important as the work that you document. If someone on the job asks you to do work that's different from your contract, ask for written confirmation. If you're using AAA documents on the project, that'll be this change order form. The 701 change order form requires a fair amount of accounting and documentation to be sure that numbers match up with everyone else's. However, there are a few benefits to using a standardized form. They can be easily cross-referenced and they keep everybody on the same page. When everyone is communicating well, change orders and payment applications can be approved quickly and you can get paid faster. At the top of the change order form, you'll see the information about the project. This part's pretty self-explanatory. You'll fill in the project information, the owner, the architect, and your name and address. Everything that should be pretty standard. Next, you put down the change order number and the date of the change order under change order information. So if this is your first change order on the job, you want to put down 001. This, over time, and additional change orders helps keep track of what happened when on the project and when the scope changes happen. The next section of the form begins, the contract is changed as follows. This is where you put a detailed description of all the changes to the original contract. Make sure to include all the details of the proposed changes and the cost of each change. It's important to be specific in case there's any dispute later about what the scope is or when payment is due. The best practice here is to include any and all supporting documentation that could go along with this change order. That may include drawings, specs, and any other attachments communication or requests that fit within the change order. Once you're done describing the changes, it's time to get to the nitty gritty. The following section will provide the details of all the previous accounting values and how the change order will affect the contract price. This form works for contracts that are either lump sum or guaranteed maximum price. For the purpose of this video, we'll assume that you're gonna use lump sum. When you're filling out this form on your computer, you can either select one of those options or if you're doing it by hand, you can cross out the ones that don't apply to you. Let's start with the first one, the original contract amount. This is the original contract amount for the work from the beginning of the job. This number will be the same throughout the project, no matter how many change orders you write. Next, we have the net change by previously authorized change orders. If this is the first change order on the project, the value is gonna be zero. If it's the second change order or after, then this field is gonna have the total value of all the previous changes. Remember, this can be either positive or negative change, as some change orders are deductive change orders. Now, let's look at the contract sum prior to this change order. To get the right figure here, simply add the two lines above this one. The figure is the total sum of the co original contract value and the net change by previously authorized change orders. If you have the previous change order handy, the amount in this section will match the new contract sum from that prior document. The next line says the contract sum will be increased, decreased, or unchanged by this change order in the amount of blank. This is where the total cost of the current change order is written. Again, this can be either positive or negative, and sometimes it may not change the cost at all. Regardless, this should match the price that the owner or architect agreed to for the change. Next, the new contract sum, including this change order. Add up the two previous lines or subtract them if the change order is decreasing cost. This is the new total contract sum after accounting for the current change order. The next line says contract time will be increased, decreased, or unchanged by X days. Here, you'll need to add how the change order will affect the performance time in number of days. In other words, how will the changes affect the date of substantial completion? Will you finish sooner? Will the work take longer? Or will you still finish on the time that you agreed upon before? In the last line, enter the new date of substantial completion. Once you determine the number of days that will be affected by the change order, add or subtract from the contract state of substantial completion. This is the new date that you expect to finish the work. Finally, get it signed. The change order is basically an amendment to the original contract, so it should be signed by all of the relevant parties. It requires signatures from the contractor, agreeing to the changes, and the owner and architect ordering the changes. Also, for record keeping purposes, the change order should be printed out and signed three times. 
That way, each party has an original, executed copy to clarify any issue that could potentially come up later on the project. We hope this video has been helpful. If you have any other construction payment questions, head over to levelset.com to get payment help from our lawyers or live chat with one of our experts. If you want to see more construction payment videos, be sure to subscribe to our channel and check out other videos. And remember, payment help is here.